All right. My mic was muted. There's a bunch of zombies outside this door. Yep, there they are. Here they come. They're shooting the guide. Stop me and my foot. Foot, my foot, my only foot. Ooh. That's a shotgun, I'm not worried about that. or whichever one. Here's some serious gun. This guy's carrying tons of guns. Just hoarding. So the zombies just sit around and hoard. Do you buy guns? Won't even make an attempt. Might be able to sell some guns though. Actually. Might be able to sell them to the locals. By that I mean the stalkers, the ecologists. Might buy them. Oop. You trade, but you don't have any money. Dude, why are you broke? Do you have something I can make use of? That's a trade. Watch this. Hmm. You used to be able to throw it. Used to be if you threw a gun at them, they would pick it up, like instantly. It was kind of like a, 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 a here you go kind of gesture. Okay. Dead city. Shoot. Here we are. Okay. I have not the artifacts I need. Yeah, this is getting a kind of slow start. I need heart and this guy. That should be good.
Well, you do shoot. Right ammo. Bunch of dead guys. There's zombies. Okay. Another AKM. In good condition, too. Fucker. That's on purpose. these zombies or just are these all zombies they are oh there he is it's on top of the hill Looking for the rifle, are you? I cannot see at all. Wow. That is dark. I was expecting to be able to see a little bit, and then I came down here and I could not see at all. We should be pretty good to go with this combination. And don't, let's see if it still has the same problem. It used to be that if you reloaded it, restart the timer. You gotta stand in between in this small area here. And then. Now, I have no side protection, so I'm completely relying on these artifacts. To be able to regenerate my thigh. And if you reload your gun, then it puts your detector away, the measurement tool away. Alright, there we go. And so. I'll be able to just tank it. Up there, a control response when he walks down the stairs to you. I could probably actually go kill him. It's only if he becomes a problem. I don't think it will spawn another one, but I would rather not see if it does. Okay. Now I really can't see. I 
just hoping that he doesn't come down the steps and grab me. Pretty much can't see anything at this point. And then I think it's going to throw me out once I get the measurement. Now the controller is still there, which is why the ghosts are still here. So he's going to be annoying, but there's nothing I can do about him until I go back. Now that I have the measurements, go back to the scientist and he will build you a helmet. Specialized Psy helmet for it. what he's got to say. Side protection, supposedly. So it doesn't really show up anywhere. So I should be able to just like walk through it now. I suppose. Let's go find out if I can just walk through it. Alright. Let's kill this guy. That was unexpected. There's two. Very unexpected. Three? Sign protection. Okay, 
There it is. Thought there was a way to actually turn this thing off. Okay, that was by accident. Bleed damage. SSP ten. Increased. Yeah, that's right, because it does have faster than normal movement speed. But then you get up here, and they've really nerfed its protection against non... Um, what you call it? Like, wow. Got no, um, physical protection. It's got a lot of environmental protection. Otherwise, that's locked. I'm overweight, aren't I? It does have stamina inventory. I probably can't move if I put it on. Especially when if I pick if there is still is a second one. If then when I pick it up, I definitely won't be able to move. spawn the second one it used to spawn right here underneath that table they no longer spawn it okay this Well, with its stats, I don't really want it anyways. I guess it never really made sense why a second one appeared. Alrighty then. Night vision is so much better than it used to be. You can actually see with it. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> In terms of protection, not much better than the leather jacket. In terms of actual protection. This is not anomalies you need protection from. has a glitch with the um, hood. If you have a helmet hood turned on, then just take the suit completely off, put it back on, and it will fix that. Alright. Now that we're out of the undergrounds, the plan is to... Hmm. I thought this guy used to be able to do mechanical. No, 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 he doesn't. It's the guy across the street. If we're going back to the Cordon, then I can bring the Spaz-12 with me. Just to see what it does. Alright. Um, fast traveling is pretty cheap. I'm surprised. Where's Nimble? In the back, okay.
Hey, buddy. Got anything on the Magnum yet? Cool. Fifteen. Wow. Wait for that. Here for the job. He gives you instant payment for the rifle. Six thousand. I'm sitting on some serious money. I'm gonna have to buy an outfit. We'll see what Sidorovich has. What's the next task? Underground Dorky. Okay, I've never seen this one before. This is new, I think. Item received. Okay, he's giving me. Mercenary's improved outfit. Probably where you get the second suit. They moved it behind a locked door, maybe. Harmonica like crazy through a gas mask. That guy missed his true calling. Instead, he's wasting away in the zone. Could have made millions in the West. All right, let's see what you have. Okay. So after some searching, I found that the best thing for me to do is to get a Sunrise Four screen mask, which is a lot of money. But the screen mask, once again, pretty much best mask in the game, as always. Good hunting, okay. Stalker. Oh, okay. Nice. Comes with some pretty decent night vision already on it. I like that. And then we come to... what's your name again? Fox. Who is the cheapest mechanic. He does it for 750, everybody else does it for like double the price. But you have to give him tools for it. Deal. Rough work. Okay. Now I can do the level 1 upgrades. Reduce the weight and install. Level one bullet plates. Weight reduction, bullet plate. Then we have to find the fine work tools to improve it even further. Because 20%, that means I'm going to get an extra two to three impact out of that. It's not much. Might be worth getting the 40% extra durability. Going all the way here and going all the way here, and then we leave this off, and that will save us a lot of money. We definitely want the 2.5 heal, and we definitely want the 10 extra carry weight. And 
And then we pretty much want everything here because of this telepathy stuff. But again, he needs fine work. That only boosts the telepathy by one, but that's okay. And then he repairs everything for a whole lot cheaper too. The other guy wanted like 800 rubles to repair my pistol. He just wanted 100 for it. Close of hand rupture. Okay. Now my stats are way higher. I finally have head protection. Maybe that will stop me from getting one shot headshot. <clears throat> All right. So now the plan. I forgot to look at the spats. I wonder if the helmet breathing actually changes. That would be cool. Baz is too damaged. You won't even look at it. I wonder if it's too high of a weapon. No, it's just too damaged. You want a gun? I mean, if it's too damaged, nobody will buy it. Yeah, there's like less breathing at the bottom of the screen now. Regenerated stamina. Huh. That's, that's actually cool. Not that. Want a gun? No. Okay. Drop. Only had to click it five times. Okay. That puts me overweight almost all the time, so I need to find the fine work tools, which, by the way, I forgot to mention this. The rough work tools are here. Right here? There's a truck. I think that's it. And you find them lying in the uh, seat of the truck. 